Hello and welcome. This is Michelle Christensen of One Noteworthy Life. Today I have a plan with me style video in which I show you how to create a daily page like the one I use every day. Now throughout this video when I mention other tutorials I will post a link to those in the description box and for the ones that aren't ready yet I will update the description box when they are ready. Now just a note before we start. I make this page on a custom paper size that I created that fits perfectly on my tablet. I tried recording this video including making that paper size and it was just way too long. Now since this video was requested in the OneNote Bullet Journal Facebook group, I wanted to go ahead and get it recorded and then once I have a paper size tutorial created, I'll link to that in the description. You can get started right away making your own pages like mine just by using the basic large page OneNote gives you or you can use any of the standard paper sizes found in the view menu at the top of your screen. So first, let me start by showing you some examples of my daily pages. So here's my first example. Um, this one I wanted to show because it has all most of my basic sections. And I also included this image here for a OneNote uh, tweet meet. That's a Twitter Q&A session for people using OneNote. Um, so this is another page, and I wanted to show this one because you can see it kind of has the same setup. It just looks a little different, and I just changed the look of it based on my mood. But I also included two little pieces of um, clip art in there, so I wanted to show that as well. And then this final example, um, this is another one. It kind of has a lot of the same daily uh, sections, and I included a couple of photos. We had a little adventure with our dogs that day, so I just wanted to add some photos and a little bit of journaling on that. Um, so now I'm going to show you how to create this page from scratch, and then I'll give you a few time-saving hacks that will help you to create this daily page faster each day once you start using it. Now, what I like about my daily page is that it has some style and creativity and color, but it's minimal enough that I can find what I want, and it doesn't take very long to put together every day. I also like that when I want to, I can add some fun elements like stickers or doodles or pictures or whatever if the mood strikes. So uh, let's get started with our demo. So the first thing you uh, would do if you were setting up your daily page is to go to the section that you want your page to appear and click on Add Page up here at the top right of your page menu. Um, I've already done that. I've got a blank page all set up and ready for this demo. So I add my color and style to this using two main elements. One is the page color, and the other is some drawing using the draw function. Of the two of them, I like to do the page background first because there are only 16 colors you can pick for your page background, whereas the pen choices are much more numerous. So let's go ahead and look at a page color. So from the view menu, we're going to click on page color. And you can see here's your 16. And I'm actually doing this live. I don't have anything preset here, so you're going to actually see me think through this process. So I'm kind of in a green mood. I'm going to pick this lemon lime. Um, so there, we have our page background set up. The next thing I do is I like to pick a pen color and draw a nice outline around the page. So in the Draw menu, I'm going to go to Color and Thickness. And these are all my pen colors, and I think I like this. Let's try this green here. And for the outline, I like a nice, thick, bold line. So I'm going to click OK. And also in the Draw menu, OneNote gives you this option to draw geometric shapes. So I'm going to pick this rectangle. And I'm going to go ahead and just as close as I can, I'm going to draw a rectangle that is about as close to the page size as I can get. Um, now here's the great thing, when you're using this draw function, you just need to get it close on your first pass because OneNote gives you these little handles where you can drag your shape side by side to get it exactly where you want it. So I'm going to go ahead and drag each side. Oops. Actually, this is a uh, fortuitous mistake I just made here because on this page size, one of the things I like about it is that I can see the entire thing on my screen. And you see when I went below it, um, two things. Number one is OneNote will actually let you do things outside your page size if you're using one. And um, it also, I have scroll bars that have appeared now, which tells me that I can't see everything on my screen without scrolling. So I'm going to go ahead back up and get that line in place. And you can see my scroll bars disappeared now. So here we go. 
there, and then just one more up top. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with how that looks. I like that nice page with the outline. Um, the next thing I do is I write my um, date on this page. Oops. And the reason I do that, even though it appears in the date stamp right below the page title, is so that I can find today's page in the menu on my right. And you can see that it just sh uh, showed up and went from untitled page to show the date. And that's how I find my daily pages. The next thing I do is to put a little weather icon in. And I have a tutorial on this, which I will link to. Now, normally I go and do a screen snip from the AccuWeather site, but just to save time, I have actually already done that. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. And paste it in here. And drag it up. Um, and then sometimes if I want like a snappier look, I will draw an outline on here. So I already have my pen color selected, but I want to use a slightly thinner outline for the elements of my page. So again, I'm going to select the rectangle. And just as close as I can. To the shape of this thing. And if we don't do a very good job, that's totally fine. I'm going to use the handles to drag it again. There. OK, perfect. OK, the next uh, section I like to set up is my to do list. And I put that right underneath the weather outline. So I'm going to write the word to-do list. And I'm going to click Enter. Um, and that's to get me onto a fresh line. Now, if you want to do a to-do list, you could actually uh, draw a box or use any. They have multiple choices of bullet shapes. And some of them look like you know maybe something you could use as a checkbox. What I'm going to do, though, is go to the Home menu and actually go to the Tags menu here and use the To Do tag. The reason for that is that um, tags are searchable. So you could actually do a search on Show Me All the Uncompleted Items anywhere in my OneNote account. And I really like that. And then it also um, lets you click it to indicate that it's done. So um, that's why I actually use the To Do tag. So I'm just going to type a couple of items in here. Let's see. Sweep the porch, mail, birthday, present. And, the, you know, you would just type these in as you go. Um, bananas. Um, and just to make this video go faster, I am going to, um, I have some of these already made up, which I'm going to just copy and paste in there. Okay, so now my to-do list is made up. I am going to move this down just a little bit, just to give me some space. And I'm going to uh, go ahead and draw another outline here. And when I do these outlines, I like to make them bigger than the actual section I'm working with to give me lots of room. So there, that's done. Okay, the next section I add in is my today's notes section. And this is where I would capture any just quick thoughts, any items that come in, just incoming random things. It could be an idea. It could be something I think I might want to do, something I might want to buy, something to research. Um, but this is where I capture all those quick little incoming things. And I'm going to click Enter to get to the next line. And from the Home menu, I'm going to select this bullet option. And it creates a nice bulleted list for me. So I'm going to go ahead and let me think. Uh, And then again, just to save some time, I have some of these made up, which I'm going to go ahead and paste in. But normally, these would just be things that kind of come to me throughout the day. And you can see uh, it has a, there's, this, this is called a text box or a text container. I'm going to shrink that over so it doesn't interfere with my to-do list, because you can see it just pushed it down. So I'm going to move the to-do list back up. I'm actually going to 
shrink this text box a little bit and move it so that it works a little better. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same outline around my notes section, leaving room for more notes. And I'm just going to drag that a tiny little bit, make it fit just right. Okay. Another thing I do is I like to add my handle because I share my pages all over social media, like on Instagram and stuff like that. So I like to have my handle on there so people can find me, know where it came from. And I like to make it nice and big so it's readable. And then generally I will try to pick a color that goes with the page, the colors I'm using today. Um, and then I have two things that I sometimes do. Sometimes I use the draw function to add in an oval here. And this would be for any task that I really want to highlight today to get done. I'm working on a theme of completion this year, which means um, that I want to work on just wrapping things up and getting them off my to-do list. So sometimes I like to use that oval um, to highlight something that I really want to complete that day. And you know, the, th the reason I like the oval, it's the only oval shape on the page, so it really stands out to me. The last thing I want to talk about is that sometimes I like to insert an image of some sort. So I um, have one already made up. I made this specifically for the tutorial. So you just go ahead and insert that. You just click on Insert um, up top in your top menu, but I'm, I'm doing a copy-paste right now. And I'll move that up. And I could draw do the same outline here as well. Okay, so that is um, most of the page. Let me just double check my notes, make sure I got everything all set up. Yeah, that's it. Um, now, you, if you did want to, you could actually just change the background color real quick. Um, let's say I want to try a different green. Or I could try, let's make this really clear. I'm going to just change it to like yellow so you can see how, you, how easy it is to change that. You could also change your pen color just as easily, but you'd have to go through and do each one. So once you have this page, you, you can reuse it from day to day just by doing a page copy. And I have a tutorial on how to use the copy page. So you could just create an identical copy, retitle it, and then cross out anything you, that doesn't apply anymore, like things you've already done or notes you've taken care of, and then add new things as you go. There are two other ways to reuse your page every day, and that is to uh, create a, a copy blank out all the information and now you have a blank copy and then you can just start with that every day make, make a copy of your blank and start that, start with that every day and you could also save that blank copy as a custom template and I'll be doing a tutorial on how to do custom templates as well and then one final thing to mention as I showed you before just watch for um, text that goes off your page if your scroll bars show up you have text that is somewhere not uh, visible on your screen right now and you need to scroll to see them so that's it. That's how I set up my daily page in my OneNote bullet journal. Now, if you like this video, please let me know by hitting the thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want more videos like this. And I love, love, love your questions and comments. So if you have any questions or anything you'd like me to do, do a tutorial on, just go ahead and drop that in the comments of this video and I will uh, love to talk to you about it. So thanks a lot for watching and this is Michelle Christensen. Have an awesome day.